welcome back to Sangaraksara's online class. Miss Wanda here. Hmm. Do you guys like going to the beach? It's been a while since I've been to the beach. How about today we go to the beach together? We can go to the beach in our imagination. Do you know how we can do that? By reading a story. Today, I'm going to be reading a story from Think Equal. Think Equal is a non-profit charity organization registered in the UK and the USA that promotes emotional intelligence in early childhood development. Are you guys ready to listen to the story? Imagine a nice beach as you listen to this story. And we're going to meet a friend called Wally. Let's listen to Wally's story, okay? Wally the Wave Wally was so cheerful during the day. He was so calm and quiet. The sun made Wally the Wave glisten. He sparkled bright and blue. Sometimes he took a spade, sometimes he took a shoe. The children all jumped on Wally. They splished and splashed, splish splash. They dipped their favorite toys in the water, giving them a squeaky clean wash. The ball hit Wally the wave and Wally threw it right back. Wally just loved to play. He gave the ball a great big whack. As the sun set, people made their way back home. Wally looked around. Now he was all alone. Wally hunched his back and was very, very upset. I hate being on my own. Wally wept and wept and wept. Then a big grey cloud appeared. Wally looked up in despair. It will pour down with rain, Wally trembled. Hello? Is anyone there? The rain made Wally angry. I've had enough, he cried. Wally pumped up with all his might and transformed into a giant tide. Wally the wave grew and grew and became scary as can be. He wanted people to come back so he could be a friendly wave in the sea. No one returned to see Wally, no matter how loud his roar. The angrier he felt, the bigger he got, bigger than ever before. Then all of a sudden, he saw the sun rise. The sun began talking to Wally, much to his surprise. The sun looked at Wally and said, I understand that you are angry and want to play, but at night, People go home so they can sleep tightly in their bed. This means time to stop playing, Wally. It means time to rest your head. Wally listened to the sun and decided not to scream and shout. Wally's happy, cheery face made all the people come back out. Later that day, when night fell and everyone had gone home to sleep, Wally closed his eyes to rest and dream of the fun and games the morning would bring. The end. And that was the end of our story. Did you like the story? That's good to hear. Hmm, but what happened to Wally though? That's right, Wally got angry. Can you make an angry face? Let's make an angry face together. One, two, three. Or one, two, three. Do you feel angry when mummy and daddy tell you to stop playing and get ready for bed? Or do you get angry when a friend or a sibling takes your toys from you? Do you get angry when you feel like you're not getting what you want? What do you do or say? Does your voice become loud or does it become quiet? That's okay. 
you're allowed to feel angry but what's also okay is for us to take a moment in our anger to think about why are we angry and how can I be not angry? In fact, I have a song about just that. Would you like to sing it together with me? Come on, let's sing it together. I feel angry, I can sense it bubbling up, bubbling up. Makes me want to shout out, makes me want to roll out, shout, shout, shout. Roar, roar, roar. Remember, I'll always love you no matter what. And it is okay that you get angry sometimes. It's okay that you feel angry sometimes. I will still love you just as much. But it's a good thing for us to remember while we are angry that we can take a moment to breathe in and out to think about what's going on and to try and calm ourselves down. So next time that you feel anger bubbling up inside of you, you can breathe in and out three times like this. To try and calm yourself down. Now I can stop it, I can stop it, I can think and take a break. I can calm myself down, I can breathe in and out, breathe, 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 calm, calm, calm. Now that brings us to the end of our class today. I hope that you enjoyed the story and learned a few tricks to be able to calm yourself down. We will come back with new videos and new activities tomorrow. But if you want more activities regarding to this particular topic, in response to COVID-19, Think Equal is having a giveaway of six books with lesson plans and activities regarding emotional intelligence. You can check out this giveaway on www.thinkequal.org. After this, you all can go ahead and play with your play packages at home with mommy and daddy. Make sure you don't forget to click the like and subscribe button as well as share this video with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell so you never miss out on any new videos from Sangaraksara's online class. See you soon!